Lately, I've done some research into the GTA Online community to the fastest car in GTA Online. And although there is an overall debate as to who holds that title, the general consensus is it belongs to the Ocelot Pariah. I am King Quad, hope you're having an amazing day, and today we're here to not only buy and purchase, but fully customize the Ocelot Pariah from the ground up. This comes in at $1.4 million, which I honestly don't think is that much considering the fact that it is the fastest car in all of GTA Online. But I decided why not buy it, let's purchase it, build it from the ground up, and we will see what we come up with with the fastest car in GTA Online. That being said, I will see you guys there. Now judging by the looks right off the bat, it doesn't look like the most flashy car I've ever seen. It definitely does look good, don't get me wrong. Overall, it looks like it's pretty good though. We have a lot of fun with this. This thing clocks in at over 136 miles per hour, making it the absolute fastest, not by a long shot, but definitely in what matters, which is the overall performance. That being said, y'all, let's get straight to the auto shop and customize our brand new Ocelot Pariah. I usually do like to take a look at the performance before customization and after customization, so let's see how this thing performs. You nearly killed me! <laughs> I like this a lot. This thing is beautiful. I'm excited for this. I don't know what this holds as far as customization already, but I think that's definitely one of the most fun parts about this, of course, being the element of surprise that comes with a lot of these customizations. Overall, I don't really know what I'm expecting going in, but of course that makes it fun. When I see something, it definitely brings that level of surprise. Definitely excited for this. Of course, this is the fastest car in GTA Online, so I definitely hope that this is going to be something that I can drive around with some pride. Let's see what they have in the auto shop. What brings you in today? Alright, so first I do like to get the loss theft prevention just to make sure you always got to check it. I would hate to customize something, have it get blown up by a Mark Oppressor 2, and then just sit there with my hands crossed. So overall, I think I'm going to take a look at liveries if they have any. They do. Okay, so let's see what we're working with. Some white stripes, black. These blue stripes are really nice. The red ones are as well. I think I do need some more red stripes or red cars in general this one's nice as well okay so nothing too crazy it definitely does stand out with these stripes as opposed to anything else we'll take a look at some resprays real quick i think our biggest thing has always been the beautiful amazing midnight blue so i will take a look at it with that just to see all of the other liveries and we'll make our final decision I do like the red a lot. The red does stand out to me. Um, the black offset it is kind of hard to see, but it is just an offset stripe. Same place as the white. I do like the offset. That is really cool. Um, I kind of like the white offset. I feel like that's, that's cool. Like, that's just what I'm rocking with. I do like the choices between these two stripes. I think I'm going to go with the white offset. I will see what other resprays look like. I, like I said, mentioned that I do want to go with a red car. I have been wanting to get another red car, but it fully just depends on how I like them. The grace red is always really good. I think probably my favorite red, honestly. This one's super bright. I think I'll go with a, I think the grace red is really cool. We'll go with that and see how it turns out. Now let's take a look at everything. I do like to start from the top to the bottom. Of course, get all of the good essential Perfect upgrades. Let's take a look at the bumpers. Secondary. Ooh, a tuner bumper. That could be cool. I don't know if this is a tuner car. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it came with the Doomsday update. I'm not sure. I'd have to check that. Don't call me, though. So I, I literally don't know what I'm talking about. I like this one, the GT bumper. That one is cool. We'll go with that. Got great taste. A rear diffuser. Carbon trim is cool. I honestly do like that because the stripe does continue on to the actual diffuser itself. 
And it does give off a shine. That is really nice. I'll go with that. that car was a woman, I guess her. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Our hoods. Let's see what we got. So this is a stock. It has the two little dips in it. This one has a one scoop. Ooh, I like the performance a lot. GT is cool. Not my favorite, though. I think out of these, I definitely do like the performance hood. And I like how this darker wine red looks on it. But I definitely think if I do want to stick with that color, I'll overall just get a entirely different respray. So I will go with the performance hood. For the lights, I don't know if this is customizable to where you can give it red lights, but I do want to see that definitely. I'll stick with these stock lights for now just because it doesn't look bad. It is a full white, same with the under lights. So I don't think it's a bad choice. And I do want to stick with the red overall look. We'll go with that as well. Livery, we'll keep that. I think the plate i usually don't customize these plates but i think we'll stick with the san andreas just because the signature is red it does give it a nice little look i think the respray is probably good for what it stands as now and i don't really know what it changes other than oh, okay so down here you guys can see on the actual diffuser back here it will change colors see it's blue it's green change the little bits of the wheel as well as the front okay so the bumper as well as the headlights also do fully rely on the trim being the secondary color. I do want to give it some contrast. I definitely think it would look the best if it had something that stuck out a lot. And I think, oh, a nice cream would stand out surprisingly. I usually don't know how I feel about that color combination, but I feel like that would stick out in a good way. I think some of the lighter browns do work too, closer to like a tan color. A lot of these colors are going to be pretty good for overall standing out as opposed to blending in, which I do definitely want to see. I think black would look good, usually in this case too, but I just think it blends in too much. I do like this off-white color. I definitely think that, that that kind of brings a little bit to the table. We'll go with that. I do want to make this kind of like a racing car, you know, and I do want to check take a look and see what these chameleons look like Ooh, that would look kind of nice we'll see we'll see what it looks like with the full red after customization and then we'll think about different things I do want to stick with this I want to see the entire stripe oh you gotta get that that looks nice already yeah that's definitely it and now for a spoiler. Ooh. Yeah, this car is nice. I like this one a lot. Oh, we got a big wing. I feel like since this is the fastest car, it's got to stand out, especially with the spoiler. This one does kind of blend in. Obviously, it is a Type 2. It definitely kind of a little lower same with the tuner spoiler keep a little low to the ground for some aerodynamics but i definitely think we got to get either the performance or maybe the gt i think gt is the lowest i would go honestly i'll go with the performance because i do want it to actually I think I like the GT just a little more. Yeah, I do like the GT. Now that's a custom job. Suspension, I usually do go with the lowest. I feel like that overall just looks really cool all the time. So we will go with that. Transmission, keep it down. Turbo, keep that up. Nice, I like how that sounds already. I think we'll go with the all limo tints. That does look really cool. And for the wheels, now this is the hardest part, I feel like, just because I always do like how the stock looks, but you usually can't customize with the signature custom look on it. I do really like how the stock wheels look, though. I think with, with this, maybe we can get some low rider. I am a sucker for the lowrider wheels. I always feel like those are really cool. 
I don't know. I like the stock a lot. Honestly, I think I might stick with the stocks. It sucks that we can't put a tire design on it. I do want to get this red. For now. We'll see what this looks like overall when it's done. I think I think I might change the respray though. Literally just so the wheels can stand out. I like to see what it looks like afterwards too. I think a nice deeper maybe formula red would look good. That's a little too dark. I like formula red. I think that's good. Just because the wheels can stand out a lot. Definitely does give it some wiggle room. I do like that. And with that, I think we're done. I honestly think that that's everything we could do. Let's take a look at our Ocelot Pariah. I love that. That looks so nice. Oh, this thing is beautiful. I love how this stands out. I definitely wanted a red car, an updated red car, because I haven't had one in a long time. I only have one and it's technically not even red. I love this. I think this looks beautiful. I am definitely satisfied with this. I want to know your guys' opinion. What do you guys think? How do you guys feel about this car customization? I don't think this has the most crazy customization. But I definitely wanted to buy it just because it does stand out a lot. Let me know what you guys think. How do you guys feel about this? Let's take this on a little test drive. This thing is beautiful. I do like this a lot. And that is it for today. Thank y'all so much for watching. My name is King Cuaro. Hope you're having an amazing day once again. Thank y'all so much for all the constant support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to see some more car customizations, be sure to comment down and let me know which car do you want to see customized. Regardless of the price, regardless of the looks, I will definitely have a lot of fun fully customizing a brand new car. Thank y'all so much. Stay safe. Take care. Peace. Adios. And until next time, y'all have an amazing day. And goodbye. Until next time.